Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Keepers Project Tutorial for Remainer. So in this tutorial, we are going to let the admin delete the category from the database. So for it, let's go and have a delete option over here. So let's go back to the code and we'll go to our category.blade.php and here we'll go down. Then here you can see you have the table header over here, category name. So after this, we are going to add one more table header. We set th, and in this th, we are going to say delete. Then here in this tr, we are going to mention a td, and in this td, we are going to have a anchor tag. So let's mention the anchor tag, and in the anchor tag, we we'll say delete. And then here we are going to mention a class. Let's say class will be btn btn danger. So right now, if we say then if we now embrace, there you can see you have the delete button. So right now what you want is when you click on the delete button, it will delete the sudden data. So for the first of all, what we need to do is here you can see href. So in the href, we give to second bracket. Then we'll say here URL to first bracket to single quotation. Let's say that URL name will be delete underscore category. Then we'll give a comma here and here you can see using dollar data we are able to get the category name. So using dollar data we will also be able to get the category ID. So we we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign ID. So when we write over here dollar data ID it means whenever someone click on delete button it will gain the ID from the category table. Here you can see ID it will be able to get the ID from here just show you let me just save it here and if i now just refresh over here then if i now click on let's say man over here if i click on this delete button here you can see we are going to see the url the href which is delete access for category which we mentioned over here and here you can see comma id id will show over here like this and here you can see this id is basically this one here you can see for main id is on and here you can see for uh, book, there you can see ID is 6. So right now, if I now click on this book, delete button, there you can see ID is 6. So all we need to do is, when you click on this delete button, it will delete that certain data. So for it, first of all, we need to go to our web.php and create a route for this. So let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this route control C then control V. So the route this will be get dot post this will be get and our route name will be delete underscore category. So I'll just send here delete underscore category. We we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be delete underscore category. And all the thing we need to do is we are sending the ID from here. So we need to cast the ID over here as well. So we we'll say over here slash to second bracket ID. So it will cast the ID. Then it will send the ID to this function in the admin controller. So let's go to our admin controller. And here we are going to say public function underscore category and here we need to set dollar id then to second bracket so here you can see i uh, in the web.php you can see id so we are just basically canceling that id here then we we'll say or declare in variable let's say dollar data you can declare any other variable like category or anything but we'll go with dollar data equal to we need to mention the table model name which is category double clone we'll say find dollar id so for this window is that here we get the id and using that id we are going to gain the column in that category table after that we'll just say dollar data this arrow sign delete so then we delete that certain row after that we we'll say return redirect to file bracket this arrow sign so this will send the user back to the same place after deleting the data. So let me just explain what will happen. Whenever someone click on this delete button, it will call this URL with the ID. 
and our url we'll call the admin controller delete underscore category function and our delete underscore category function will get the id then find that specific id in the category table delete that specific data and then after deleting it it will keep the user on the sentence so right now if we just go back to our project then refresh and here we can see abc we want to delete this so if i now click on this delete button for abc there you can see the data is deleted so let's also show at the top a message that data deleted successfully so here in the previous tutorial we already installed toaster in our laravel project so let me just copy this from here and i'm going to paste it over here and here i'm going to say category deleted successfully so let's save it here and let's go back to our browser let me just refresh and let's say we want to delete uh, this on plastic if i now click on this delete button there you can see it is showing us a message category deleted successfully so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial what we'll do is that when you click on the delete button it will show us a confirmation message that are you sure to delete this and if you click ok it will delete the data thank you very much for watching if you have any question any problem or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials